welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. And we are going to have a little chat today on how can you make a little side money for yourself. So we have been decluttering. I don't know if you have, but we've been talking about it on the last couple of videos. Decluttering, reorganizing, taking back our homes, making our houses homes once again. Fresh new start, fresh new year. We're going to do this. However you decide to declutter, that's completely up to you. You might only have one or two objects. You might have hundreds of objects. It doesn't matter. As long as you're making progress and you're moving forward in your home, kudos to you. So I wanted to show you something I've been working on. I haven't finished my basement uh, laundry area yet, but here you go. Here's some of what I'm working on. Show you a little bit of that. So this was an old bulletin board that I had that had a lot of, you know, punctures and whatnots that, you know, so I painted it up and there you go. I thought these were cute. This was from the Dollar Tree. These decals here are from the Dollar Tree. This one up here is here is the Dollar Tree. So this is going in the laundry area. I just wanted to show you, I am starting to work on it. Hopefully, um, in about a week, I'll have it done. My son has been diligently working in the basement. And after that total disaster zone that we had over Christmas, with the septic and everything backing up, we're having to move. And we had to sanitize down there and sterilize down there and then put kitty litter down to soak it up and sweep all that and you know wear masks and do dry vax and wet vax and it, there's some work that had to be done down there so that's being done and my son is reorganizing an area for himself and he's helping us organize so little by little we're making progress down there but again we live life so everything has to take its you know in little increments my husband can't do a whole lot because of his seizures so you know, we're doing what we can. So you've been decluttering and you've got all this stuff. And now you're saying, Lynn, okay, <clears throat> you got me on this great path. What do I do with my stuff? Well, before we talk about stuff, let me show you some cards. Yeah, that I've received. So this one is a beautiful card from Jenny. Thank you, Jenny, for sending me a birthday card. I so appreciate that. That is absolutely beautiful. I love the roses on there with the Bridge over the water. Beautiful card. Beautiful. And then I got this one. Let's see. This one is adorable. Let me see who this one's from. I think I know. Yes. This is a beautiful card. I thought that was so cute. And then, so you open it like that. And then you've got that. And then you got the sediment inside. And this is from Lynn, who calls herself the other Lynn. So thank you for that. And then this one... I know you're gonna know who gave me this card if she's watching this. And this is from a very good friend who is also a viewer, Carrie Ann, for my birthday. So it gave me that birthday card. And then this one, this is a beautiful birthday card and it came with a nice birthday gift in there for Wawa for a gift card. So thank you to BJ for that. And then I got another card from Carol. God bless you today. Beautiful Bible on here with some candles. Thank you, Carol, for that beautiful birthday card. And then my friend, Miss Margaret. I don't think I showed you this one yet. And if I did, I apologize, but I don't think I did. But another handmade card from my friend, Margaret. I love this. It has some embossing on it, which is really cool. Some butterflies. She did a, like, a probably dots underneath the puff dots to make this stand out. And then a beautiful note on the inside. And I love little things mean a lot. And Margaret, I love, love, love what you said on there. Little things mean a lot. And a nice bookmark that's nicely laminated. So that's going in one of the books that I'm currently working on. And I appreciate your thoughtfulness and the extra treat inside the card. So thank you for all my cards. I just wanted to give a shout out to all my friends that sent me a card. And so many of you wished me a happy birthday on the community page and in the comments. And thank you so much. I had a wonderful birthday. 
I don't like celebrating my birthday. I hate my birthday. I hate birthdays. Didn't like them when I was a kid. Don't like them as an adult. I don't like that show. I don't like the attention. I don't like all that hoopla. So I just like to have a quiet day. And that's what I had with my husband. So let's get into this real quick. What do you do with all the stuff once you declutter? What am I doing? What can you do? Okay, we're all in a different uh, stage of life. We're all on a different level of what we can afford to do in terms of time and also getting to places and so on. So here's what I'm going to tell you. None of this is right or wrong. This is just ideas. These are ideas that we are using and doing. They might give you some ideas. So don't think like, oh, I've got to, I've got to do these exact. This is the way to do it. No, this is not the exact way to do it. This is how Lynn and Graham are doing it. But what I like to do is listen to people because it triggers other ideas of, oh, I can't do that, but I can do this. Okay. So number one, I might gather a few things up. So let me show you a couple of things I have. I have this cute little teapot and let me just say this. There are things that I absolutely love in my home. This being one of them. I mean, love. This being one of them. Love. This candlestick love there are a number of things that i love in my home but i am at the point i have to keep saying to myself i need to declutter i need to thin out there's a number of reasons which i'm not going to go into that i feel that i need to do this and i'm not starting with the practical things like my coffee pot because i use my coffee pot and I'm not going to do pots and pans unless I have an overage because I use them. It's the things that I don't use at all and they're just decorative are the things that I'm starting with. Things that I'm sick of. I'm tired of that jacket. I never wear that. I don't, don't even like those. Those are the things I started with and then now I'm going down to the things that how all the extras that are in the house, I need to thin those out. And it does mean getting rid of some of the things that I really like. I just need to. For me, where I'm at in life and the reasons I have, I just need to get rid of some of those things. What do I do with those things? Okay, number one, I ask around. I ask my friends, I ask coworkers, uh, people in church, you know, your socials, whoever you're with. Um, hey, anybody looking for X, Y, Z? Maybe you have a new something that you don't need or you know, you've hardly ever used or whatever, I would start there. Um, that is one thing I do, I give to others. So if somebody is in need and I have something that is in good condition, don't give them your junk. They don't need your junk. If you have something that's in really good condition, pass that on to someone who needs. Give you an example as I had a number twice now, a number of craft items, rubber stamps, uh, scrapbook paper, stickers, things of that line. My daughter-in-law is connected to someone in their church that works with social services. I don't know what you call it in your state, but those that work with foster kids. And she's involved with that and they do scrapbooking and things with the kids to sort of make a memory of their life. Well, there, I guess there's a, there's a, uh, a day they do this. I don't know how they do it. Anyway, they needed supplies. So twice I was able to put a get together a small box of odds and ends that they could use for these kids. My stuff, helping a young life who doesn't really have a family to scrapbook whatever they can and make something for themselves of um, a memory, a keepsake for themselves. I felt really good, so my things went to that. You can collect craft items. A lot of nursing homes and places like that are always looking for donations and supplies. You can check with a local church. I know our church. People give me stuff to, for my church. They give me craft supplies and I bring it to my church. We use those for our Sunday school, our kids club, our vacation Bible school, different activities we have. I have that mentoring group that I mentor for girls in our church. We have, you know, 15 plus girls once a month and we have a table that they can choose from, get freebies. So sometimes the things are brand new, sometimes they're slightly used. Pocketbooks and scarves and stationery and books and nail polish and 
you know, all that kind of stuff. So I have people that go to the Dollar Tree and dollar stores and they pick up odds and ends and they give me a bag of goodies. I have other people that say, I have some pocketbooks. I had somebody give me, it must have been 20 Vera Bradley bags. One was a backpack and they were like little makeup bags and clutches and things like Vera Bradley, Vera Bradley, you know, that's a name. And she didn't want them, so she gave them to me for the girls. So I could put Vera Bradley. Anyway, there's an idea. Pass them on to an organization. Um, that's that's one way to do it. You know, if it's junk, just throw it out. Like, you know, you got to cut your losses. You just got to say certain things. I'm like, just bag it up, get rid of it. It's junk. Get rid of it. After that, maybe you want to put things in a thrift shop. There are thrift shops. We have one thrift shop that's not too far from here that is a thrift shop for an animal shelter. So animals that have been abused, the money they make from the thrift shop goes to help support those animals that have been abused. So, you know, you can find thrift shops that support a local ministry of sorts. We have one that's not too far from us as well. And the money that's generated from there helps to buy blankets and um, items and food and things like that for the homeless in the area. So there's another way you can support without actually supporting a homeless person. You can support the ministry that has the manpower and the know-how on how to get the things to the people that are homeless. You don't even have to do that. You just have a local thrift shop. You can put it in the local thrift shop because I can tell you when I did purchase this at a thrift shop, I was excited and it blessed me. So whoever donated this, you know, donated it just because, but it turned around and blessed me. That's an idea. Another thing, what else can you do? You have organizations um, on social media. You have online thrift stores. You have Facebook, Marketplace, and other types of things like that. Um, you can sell things and make some money. So I don't really know that I've gone into it a whole lot, but we um, needed to get a a newer vehicle. I haven't had a car payment in 20 years. You know, we were able to use our car till it basically fell apart and there was not much hope for it. And then we would get another one and somehow we were able to do it without a car payment. I think the biggest car payment in 20 years, I shouldn't say that, we had one car payment and we paid it off in three months. Start selling things. And I said, every time I sell enough, to warrant a, or equate a um, car payment, we're gonna take that money and make a double car payment. And then hopefully just speed up the process. So, you know, things like this, I'm going to sell. Candle, a silver candlestick holder. Somebody is looking for that. I have this little, um, it looks like a vintage star with little berries in it. You know what, somebody that's into country, would probably love that. I do have this little silver teapot. I'm just showing you ideas. I have this one. I have this little one I'm debating on. I like it because it's like a one, two cup. I'm not sure, not sure. We ha I have other things such as shoes that as you can see are about 98% brand new. Somebody might be able to benefit from that. I have a scarf that I purchased. It's brand new. It still has the tag right on it. We've never worn it. I can sell that. So I have clothing. I have clothing. Now these are not the ones I'm selling, but we had went through and here's what I did with my clothing. I had about eight or nine bags of clothing. Yes, eight or nine bags of shoes and clothes that I put in a thrift store. And then I was able to pull out the ones that are um, more of a name brand. Um, Vera Bradley, Cracker Factory, Gloria Vanderbilt, things like that. I don't buy these things brand new, so don't think I do. Mine are all thrifted. But with that being said, those items I can sell. So I am selling them. My sisters and I have an online store on Facebook, and it's a private group that you can join. We sell everything from homemade, handmade crafts, and I'm now selling some of my items. And I've sold one or two things on that. We're posting, you know, we're trying to, we're doing an online yard sale. So if you are interested in that, there's information in the description below. And I have a Poshmark store. I've had one for a while. I've had it for a couple of years. 
I've never done anything with it. Well, I'm starting to put things on Poshmark and I'm selling on Poshmark. There are plenty, there's thread up. That is another one you can do with clothing. I have a thread up store. I haven't done anything with it. Thread up sends you a big bag and you put all your stuff in it. You send it to them. They, they put it up on the market. They set the price, they sell it, they send you money. There's another option for you. So there are plenty of options. You wanna check and see what's the easiest and most convenient. Poshmark for me is the easiest and most convenient. I need something really simple, really basic, and it's wonderful. So what I'm doing on that, as I make the money, it's staying in my account. When I make enough to equal a car payment, it comes out, goes right to the car. So you know what, you can give it away, you can gift it away, maybe it's brand new and you can use it as a gift. You can donate it to local organizations and charities that can use these items. You can donate it to thrift stores. You can sell it on local, you know, online yard sale groups online. Local, maybe it's a piece of furniture, you can sell that. So what do you do with this money when you sell these items? Do you go out and buy new stuff? Maybe. Maybe you wanna redecorate your home and now you can take that money and use that, sell what you have to afford to redecorate your home. Maybe you are doing what I'm doing and you're trying to pay off some debt and we have a new car payment and a newer car to us, so we're trying to pay that off. Maybe you put it in an account because you wanna go on vacation. Maybe you don't have an emergency fund and you don't have any money in the bank. You don't have $100, you don't have 500. You don't even have you know a couple dollars. Um, you should have an emergency fund to fall back on in case something were to happen. Maybe sell some of your things and decide, you know what, it's time to do that. I'm going to declutter, I'm going to sell, and I have to start with my emergency fund, whatever. But this is a great thing. Go ahead and declutter, gather your things, and make a decision. These are too junky, they're going in the garbage. These items, I'm gonna check around. I have a few friends that might be able to use it. These items I think could go to a good charity, and these items I might be able to sell. Listen, if you put it up, if I put this up for sale for however long, I say I wanna sell it. Now, I don't wanna collect a bunch of stuff in my home that's up for sale and it sit there forever because I'm trying to sell it. For me, I know I know people that have online businesses and they have totes and they're numbered and they have all their items and it is a full-time business for them. I am not at that point, I just wanna move it out. But I will keep it for X amount of time on the site and if it doesn't sell, I'm taking it off the site and I'm donating it and moving on. But that's what I have for you tonight. What do you do with all this stuff? Sell it, give it, make some money. You know what? It's a good way to have a little side hustle and generate a little bit of extra money, a little pocket change. You know what? Every penny adds up into a dollar. Every dollar can add up to $5 and so on and so forth. Listen, we had to pay off. I will close with this. We had to get a timing belt. If you know how much a timing belt is, it's over $1,000 and a brand new transmission, if you know how much that is. We were talking six to $7,000. We did not have a dollar to put toward this. So we had to charge it. And we were determined. We sold anything and everything that we could get our hands on. We did any side jobs. We did anything we could and we had it paid off. I wanna say it was six months or less. And I remember my oldest son saying, mom, set a goal for yourself. You want it paid off by this date. He said, don't just say you wanna pay it off sooner. Set a date, set a goal and aim for that goal. And we were like, I said, can we do it in six months? I want it to be done with it and we did. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna happen, but boy, I'll tell you, we hustled to get to that point and we were able to do it and pay off that amount of money on that car. It was a miracle. I mean, the Lord provided ways and opportunities for us. But if you're in a situation where you need a little side money, maybe consider selling some things. It's a great way to do it. Have a yard sale in the front of your yard. You know what? Springtime is coming soon, and I might just save all these things that I don't sell online and just keep them in a bin in my basement and I might consider doing that, just having a yard sale on a Saturday with a few of my coworkers. We've done that before, set up a table and just sell the stuff that we have. So there you go, guys. That's what I have for you.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up to help my channel grow. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you're interested in anything that I've talked about tonight, I usually have that information in the description below. If not, my email is there. Shoot me an email and I can get that to you. Thanks so much for coming over. Glad you joined me tonight in my home. We'll catch you all on the next video.